Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video will show you how to sign up and use Snappa, which is one of the best Canva alternatives. And if you're looking for a Canva alternative, this video is for you, so stay tuned. All right, so the very first thing you need to do um, is whether you're on Mac PC or a laptop, uh, open your browser, whether it's Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Safari, or whatever, Internet Explorer even. Uh, go to google.com and search for Snappa, S-N-A-P-P-A. -A. And it's going to be the very first option you see, the very first result. And as you can see here, Snappa, quick and easy graph design software. So it's pretty much like Canva. Um, <clears throat> it's, in my opinion, it's just as good. But there are some limitations to the free version. So it says here, all photos and graphics included in Snappa are 100% royalty free and licensed for commercial use. No extra fees. Snappa is a must have tool for the non, you know, this is for a lot of people for this is for the commercial version. Right. And these are just some of the main <clears throat> main things that you can do online. YouTube banner maker, you design templates, YouTube thumbnails and the pricing, of course. So when you click on this, you're going to be brought to this page, their homepage. This is going to be Snappa.com. And it says here, create online graphics in a snap, which is pretty, you know, no pun intended, pretty, a pretty snappy um, uh, catchphrase. Whip up graphics for social media ads, blogs, and much more, even if you're not a graphic designer. This is very, very, for somebody who's like, uh, I think, okay, my opinion on this, because I've used this many times, is that it is much more easier to use the Canva. Canva can be, especially for beginners, Canva can be very overwhelming at times. And sometimes it's hard to find templates. So uh, as you can see here, it's been featured in HubSpot, Shopify, Forbes, Buffer, SEMrush. Uh, let's just go over the homepage. Snappa saves your time every step of the way. Start with the perfect image dimensions. Uh, get a head start with pre-made templates, just like Canva. Find the free high-res stock photos inside Snappa. So um, <clears throat> there's a lot. There's a lot of high-res photos uh, that you can use, even for the free version. You get access to over 5 million free high-resolution and totally not cheesy stock photos. And I've, like what I said, I use this many, many times. It's, it's great. Add text graphics and effects in seconds. The thing about this is, like, I think if I remember it correctly, a lot of the fonts are are free to use. Unlike in in Canva, a lot of the really good fonts are behind the the Canva Pro uh, pricing. Remove image backgrounds with just one click. Yeah, this, again, again, all of these resize your best graphics in a flash. All of these, um, all of these assets and perks can be used for the free version. As you can see here, designed for speed, no learning curve, everything included. Over 25 million images and counting. So let's go back to the very top. And as you can see, if you have an account, you just simply click login. If not, click on get started for free. And as you can see here, it's going to ask for your name, your email, your password. It's going to have like uh, uh, a person, human uh, authentication. And it's pretty straightforward. So once you have logged in, this is where you're gonna be. This is this is the create a graphic uh, page. This is the app, pretty much. So you can immediately create a canvas here. Unlike in Canva, you need to go search for a blank uh, page, right? In Snapbot, you could immediately create a blank canvas. And as you can see here. Under that is social media posts. So Facebook post, Facebook link, Instagram post, Instagram story, pretty much everything you need for social media, blogging, infographics, headers, banners, and profile pages, um, social, social and display ads. This is for ads for, for online entrepreneurs. And <clears throat> this might look, this might look very simple and not that much, but if you click percent for example let's click on facebook post there is a lot there is a lot and there is a lot there is a lot it goes on and on and on right um so again create from scratch 
and these are the feature templates. These rotate in my I, I think these rotate a lot. Um and if you wanna um let's click on this. Let's let's try to use this, right, for, for this video's example. Um 40% off, so this might be for an online store. So the e as you can see here, this is the font. We can use a lot. They have a lot of fonts. And you can use this for free. All of these fonts you can use for free. So let's let's say let's let's use Troki. There you go. You can use it, right? And you can even um, create an offset shadow, as you can see there, right? Make it pop even more. And there's a lot of uh, things you can do, like effects, darken, right? Blur. You can adjust the, the saturation. You can adjust the hue. So it's 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 like Canva that has more Photoshop options, text, as you can see, head, heading. It only has three. Canva is a lot, but honestly, that's a bit uh, overboard, in my opinion. Um, and you can adjust these uh, headers anyway. And then graphics. Uh, this is where they kind of like shine. These are icons. And you can search for icons. And then you have vectors. Uh, these are shapes, pretty much, that you can add. Uh, for example, let's add this one. And as you can see, let's put it there. We can change its color to, let's say, this one. Look at that, right? Photos. As you can see, like what like what the homepage said, um, there's a lot of really good stock photos here. But we can even change. You can use this one, right? As you can see, we can use this one for the example. And the good thing about this is that there you go. You could. Um, move layer forward or move layer back which is easy there you go now you have a different uh different facebook post right and then uploads this is going to be where your uh uploaded photos and media will be put right and then let's go to shapes again there's a lot of shapes that you can you can use pretty much uh we can use this Right, but we don't need that. And then you could resize it, you could duplicate it, you could toggle the grid. Um, but the thing about this, the, the 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 downside in using Canva is you need to make your uh, your project count. You need to be one hundred percent sure when you export it that this is what you want to export because the thing with the um <clears throat> the thing with the uh free version is that you only get to have i think two or three downloads per month so when you click download it's gonna be you're gonna choose here high res png retina jpeg retina png retina png is the best one but if there is a size limit to when you upload your your photo or your media ret retina jpeg is the best and you can even click on transparent background so again, you can save it and just make sure that this is what you want to save and download. Because if you download this and you're like, oh, no, I, I need to change something and then download it again, that's it. You only have two uh, downloads per, per month. So with that said, when you click on upgrade now, you're, you're going to see the pricing. Oh, there you go. As you can see, I, I just like what I said, three downloads per month. But you could use over 6,000 templates, over 5 million photos and graphics, uh, but only three downloads per month. But as you can see on Pro, uh, it, it's only, you're, gonna on, you're only gonna be billed $10, but uh, pretty much the same, same thing. Yep, yeah, but th this time you have unlimited downloads, you have buffer and social media integrations, custom font uploads, and you can remove image backgrounds. So in my opinion, this is very, very affordable. And you're getting bang for your buck. 
So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the Canva for you. I hope you like the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and we'll see you on the next one.